Hi there, welcome back and a warm welcome to new viewers. My name is Luma and here on my channel, I share spiritual and metaphysical perspectives on ascension, spiritual awakening, higher consciousness, energy frequencies, energetic structures, uh, ways to navigate the tremendous amount of change that we're going through, like how to, how to do change in a new way and also to inspire you to trust your intuition and your deep soul knowing. We are, all have incredible storehouses of wisdom contained within us and uh, it's time to open some of that up and share it around and circulate it around in the world right now. Okay, so I make these videos as sort of energetic weather reports, what I'm sensing in what's happening in the collective level. Those of us who are uh, understanding our experience through the lens of ascension and spiritual awakening. Okay, so wow, May. Uh, I know a lot of people are sharing this is a month of expansion and it truly, it truly, truly, truly is a month of expansion. Okay, so what comes as we're, what's the experiences that we have when we're going through a very rapid expansion? Okay, we're going to feel an enormous amount of pressure. Okay, just think of like buds of flowers, the pressure that they're under, the buds of leaves, the pressure that they're under in spring. And then a day like this is a warm and sunny day. They just, they pop open, but that pressure before something expands and opens is a tremendous amount of pressure to be living with. So that is what uh, we are living with right now. A lot of us have been living with that pressure. If you've been on the awakening path for a long time, you've been living with this pressure for a lot, a lot, a lot of years, okay? Um, this pressure may be um, newer. We're all, you know, riding this wave together. It may be a sudden pressure and a sudden expansion, okay? So, um, it's like we've all been in one of those instant pot pressure cookers, you know, they're really fantastic, but uh, we're kind of like been inside a pressure cooker where the lid's been locked. Yeah, we couldn't open it up until the pressure release valve starts to release safely. So try, if you try to take the lid off a pressure cooker, it's going to explode and that's going to be not good. So we got to wait for the pressure release valve to release because we're cooked, we're ready, we we want to come out of the pot, uh, but we got to wait for those pressure release valves, okay, to be able to open up and expand in a good, sequential, gradual, and healthful way, okay? We don't want to explode all over ourselves, <laughs> okay? So even though we're, and that's, so we're feeling the pressure and so many people uh, are, are, are uh, what's my purpose? I got to get on with it. I, I got to move. I, I got to get out of this situation. I got to something, there's something, something, it's like the pressure is enormous. Okay. It's enormous. Just keep in mind, pressure relief, release valves. We're coming out of a state of extreme limitation, extreme pressure. Yeah. The old matrix system, compressed, compressed, push down, push down, heavy, heavy layers of density on our authentic soulful expression as human beings. Yeah, that's what we're coming out of here. <laughs> we're raring to go. Um, but again, to do, th there's a, there's a graduated, beautiful, orchestrated, synchronized, synchronized process that we're, that we're going through here. So again, we got to trust the process here. We are expanding. Okay. We are expanding, okay? All right, so, um, and our system is going through a lot of recalibration. So again, I wanna uh, explain a little bit more about this pressure release that we're going through. Again, coming out of extreme density, okay? It's happening really rapidly, really, really rapidly right now. Again, people, are, and another thing to remember here, Different groups of people, different soul groups are on different waves of ascension here, okay? So folks I'm speaking to, you're obviously on this wave because this information rings true for you, it's resonating, so we're on this wave together, okay? Other folks are riding other waves, 
some are ahead, some are behind, some are going in different directions, okay? There's many different pathways uh, of awakening, expansion, ascension, okay? So just to honor the one that you're on and respect that others are on other other waves, yeah? It's kind of time release, you know? Certain waves are going ahead, others are going to wait, and they're going to come behind, and they're going to give us a little like actually a lot of rocket <laughs> fuel push from behind, yeah? So we're getting going and there's going to be a whole other wave of, of uh, awakening folks and that's going to whoosh, just expedite this whole thing along. So everyone has their timing on this. Respect your timing on this, okay? All right. Pressure release breathing. Very excellent thing to do. Okay, so let's look at relieving pressure off of our hearts. Those of you who are deep feelers, yeah, you may not see, but you feel an enormous amount of phenomena. You have been feeling that for lifetimes, all of this lifetime, and now is the time to acknowledge those feelings. So we start to release the pressure on these layers that have been compressed like a can of condensed soup <laughs> and we gotta you know open it up start to rehydrate things here add some extra liquid where are we gonna uh, be flowing a lot of unfelt emotions a lot of unfelt feelings that were just locked away kept down okay so those are going to be popping up feel your way through those waves those emotional waves that are going to be washing through you just let them keep on moving through you Okay, because we're releasing pressure off the heart, yeah, of having to pretend that we were not feeling all the things we were feeling. A lot of harm, pain, suffering, injustices. Okay, so a lot of that's moving out of our systems here. Uh, we, as the people who are empaths and sponges, taking on uh, feelings that other people did not want to feel. Okay, so we've been living in what I call the projection field, okay? That's where if I'm feeling something that I don't want to feel or I can't feel, I'm going to project it over onto somebody else. I'm going to dump my emotional energy onto some lovely little empath over there who's uh, feeling everything. It's like, here, feel this for me, please, you know? So, um, you know, we've, we've been on both, we've been on both sides with that. Um, if we're the empaths, we're going to feel a lot of bitterness and resentment for holding all this stuff and feeling all these things for other people. Time to stop doing that. Let everybody feel their own discomfort. Don't try to micromanage, mediate, or alleviate others' discomfort in an emotional way. Okay. Of course, if they're experiencing a physical, physical injury and you can step in and help, that's a different thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... Um, emotional discomfort yeah our emotions are our own they are our way of locating ourselves navigating sensing the life force energies yeah of the elements yeah so it's a way of understanding and locating where we are it's very intimate to each person allow and respect other people to feel what they're feeling Stay in touch with what you're feeling, okay? So as the pressure's releasing, wow, you get to feel a whole lot more. Some of you who have been feeling a lot already, it's like, I don't want to feel more. I want to feel less, <laughs> you know? All those things that like you want to, the, the, the impulse is like contract. It's like too much. I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel, right? <sighs> the movement now is expansion. Expansion. Give more space to to what you're feeling honor and respect this enormous capacity to feel all kinds of movement, energy, elements, the gloriousness of being an angelic human being, okay? Reclaiming that, okay? Whew. Okay, let's talk about releasing pressure off of our minds, okay? It's like when we're wearing <laughs> bloody horrible helmets that have just been compressing our beautiful minds right just like focusing our minds into these little narrow channels like yeah don't look at that don't look at that look only look at this only look at this only look at this you know those of us who are multi-dimensional we've been trying really hard it's like 
but this is so much, in all this is so interesting. It's like, no, you're bad. Just focus on this one thing. We get headaches. We get uh, all kinds of stress, pain, pressure to try and just focus on a limited bandwidth of phenomena, the 3D, the five senses. Let's just say we've got thousands and thousands of sensory capacities, truly. You know, um, for myself, uh, as, a, as a seer, and I see in the inner dimensions and the inner spaces, I call it dragonfly vision. Dragonflies, they have a thousand lenses. They can see a thousand different directions at the same time. Just drop that in. Imagine you have ears that have a thousand eardrums, yeah? Fingertips that have millions of little finger uh, filaments that you can feel. Expand. Expand beyond the little box of the five senses here. And there's a whole incredible, glorious world to behold and engage with here. Just waiting for us. Waiting for us to expand. All right? So take the blinkers off the mind. That's what we're going through. Yeah, I talked about that um, last week in the video about um, gapping out these kind of little micro moments of amnesia of, and then coming back again, right? The um, shift in awareness, the shift in perception. This is what I'm talking about here, okay? Um, that we're coming out of a very blinkered state and how we're locating ourselves in time and space and history. That's all up for <laughs> a rearrangement here, okay? So the mind's coming out of a limited range of perception into an expanded range of perception. Okay, so the mind can touch a lot more. Yeah, our mind, think of our mind as an, as an amazing sense, sense organ, yeah, to sense. Yeah, to sense the movements of creation. Yeah, it's beautiful, really beautiful. So let's take another pressure release breath together here. So when we go through an expansion, another way of explaining this is we've gone through an ascension gateway. Yeah, literally, we've broken through a barrier of consciousness, a frequency fence. OK, I felt this extremely like in a very extreme way on May 1st. Yeah. Um, I live near an Air Force base. There's there's military jets and these snowbirds that do their training here every day. Um, it's very loud. You know how those jets like boom break the sound barrier and um, some, so that day these jets were flying and everything in my house was shaking. My it was windy. My front door blew open. My back door blew blew shut and the window on the door smashed. Okay, when things like that happen, I pay attention. Okay, so I was like, oh. Something's been broken, a barrier's been broken. We broke through a barrier on our consciousness, a barrier on our awareness, a barrier on our hearts, okay? So just let that sink in, okay? We've broken through a barrier. Good work, everybody, good work. It's kind of like we had to be <laughs> uh, kind of stubborn, it's like, there's this ceiling here. There's this box here. It's not supposed to be there. I'm going to bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it until the freaking thing shatters to pieces. <laughs> I'm out of here, right? Okay, so good work. Barrier's been broken. Okay, now what are we doing? Uh, where am I now? <laughs> that barrier's not there. I've come out into this big, open, wide space, and I'm used to being in this really small space. Just like when we're babies and born out of a really tiny little womb space and we come out, you know, it's known that newborn babies like to be tightly swaddled to, to be comforted as they get gradually used to being in a, a bigger, wider space. Okay, so uh, soothing your nervous system. If you suddenly expand and it's too much too soon, uh, do some self swaddling. Okay, actually you can just physically wrap yourself up in a blanket so you got that nice tight cozy feeling you know go into a room and close the door close the curtains just be in that inner space if you need to do those kinds of things just to let your nervous system adjust it's like whoa I expanded way too fast where am I I can't locate myself I need some time to rest yeah to integrate 
to recalibrate, might be experiencing waves of fatigue, of tiredness, just like where you're going through a growth spurt. Sometimes you just need to rest a little bit more, okay? If you can, do it, really, okay? Don't judge yourself for it, you know? Uh, when we're doing this deep energy work, um, it's as if we're out running marathons all day long sometimes. Yeah, it's like we're doing that much work at times. And maybe just you're sitting on your couch. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, different ways of understanding experience here. We sure need new ways, new contexts of understanding the changes that we're going through here. Okay, so if this is useful, helpful, resonates with you, great. Okay. And uh, find your own ways, your own metaphors, your own stories that you can tell yourself, yeah, to keep yourself going so you don't go back into that detour of shutting down, closing down, um, you know, pathologizing yourself into fear. Oh, my God, the worst thing, this horrible thing is happening. Oh, my God, what's happening? What's happening? You know, uh, you're walk, you know, walking along the street. Oh, my God, there's this pink thing. What is it? It wasn't there yesterday. It's a rose. It just bloomed. It's a rose. It just bloomed. Oh! okay so this is again catching ourselves up recalibrating okay having some space to open up to integrate the changes that we're going through trying out different ways of being different ways of interacting with other people yeah um i want to talk a bit more too again um again not everybody's on this rapid expansion wave at the moment they're going to expand later on remember they're going to be the, the the jet fuel that's going to help propel us a little bit more far forward so thank you to those folks that, that are still living in some kind in a in a um, a blinkered um a fearful place right now okay because they're they're going to expand in their own time okay again respecting and honoring everybody's pacing here on their awakening process you know you know, if you're a deep sleeper and someone comes along and they, they try to wake you up, like in the morning, gosh, you know, like being a teenager, try to wake up a sleeping teenager, not fun, right? Um, you know, how grumpy, how grumpy people are. if They're woken up when it's not their natural time to wake up, okay? So take the pressure off of friends and family members. You want them to understand what you're going through and and, uh, you know, all these different spiritual teachings and stuff and you, you're super excited about it and you want to share it and they're just not open to it. Don't put that pressure on them to try and understand the world in the way that you understand it, right? Respect they understand it differently. They're working on something over there. They're doing their work. They're holding light in some dark places. Bless them. Bless them for the work they're doing, okay? And give yourself some space to just be yourself. Do things at the pace you want to do things at. Go a little faster or slower when you need to, okay? Respect your timing here, okay? Respect your pacing. Okay. Just let the energy catch up with the words here, okay? Mm-hmm. There we go. Great. Okie doke. What am I doing when I'm in these pauses and saying, oh yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, I am an energy sensitive and I can feel all kinds of energy currents uh, through time and space. So even if you're watching this video a year from the day I posted it, there's still lots of energy movements going through here. It's kind of fun, right? Time's not linear anymore. We can kind of pop in and out through all these points. We can finally connect all the dots together in this beautiful big picture uh, of life that we're in the in the middle of right here. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. Excellent, thank you. Um, please remember to like, subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos that are popping up. Check out the links down below for my individual one-on-one -on -one work. I've got a whole other range of excellent video content over on Patreon. You can become a member over there. I have a Telegram channel where I share out beautiful photographs. And um, you can check out those links below. Uh, and pretty soon I'll be having some uh, memberships here on 
on YouTube as well. So if you like my content um, um, and you want to become a member here, I'll be having that up. I'll let you know as soon as that's up and going. All the admin stuff you got to do in the background to get these things up, these shows up here on the road. Uh, so really appreciate your, uh, your time and your attention and go well. And I'll see you again really soon.